Hello everybody, my name is Lisa and welcome to another video. So today's video is actually going to be our, our vlog, our monthly vlog. I try to do these uh, every month just to keep you guys up to date on what I'm doing in the channels, you know, uh, anything new, any changes and such. So uh, first of all, uh, we have some we have some new people here uh, over the course of time I've been seeing the channel slowly growing and we actually reached 300 subscribers recently so thank you guys for supporting the channel I hope you guys enjoy the content and and all that jazz um, <laughs> I don't usually script these so if I'm all over the place um, that's why <laughs> Even if you're new here, or if you've been here since the beginning, I just want you to know that I appreciate you, and thank you for supporting the channel. I hope you guys like all the stuff that I'm doing now, and all the new stuff that I'm going to be doing in the future. Firstly, I'm extra excited because I actually finally started working, which is nice. I started working a little bit earlier in January, um, so I'm finally going to be having an income, like an actual stable income for me to contribute to the stream. Um, I know I keep saying that I need a new graphics card for the for the PC. Uh, what else? Uh, my microphone has been having some, I don't know if it's my microphone or some kind of settings that I messed around with, but every now and then when I'm recording, the audio seems to like dip and it like disappears. I don't know if it's the software or, or what, but um, I'm beginning to think my snowball is on its way out, so uh, we might need a new microphone soon. I also wanted to see if I can figure out a way for me to get some hue lights. For those of you that don't know what that means, that's basically um, lights that I can control uh, from my keyboard or uh, with my Amazon Echo and stuff like that. That's really handy because actually my, my current light situation is like by remote and when I get home late at night from work I have to find this remote somewhere on my bed to turn on the light because the light switch that is next to my door actually isn't connected to anything weird I, I just it happens so it would be a little bit more convenient for me just in everyday life to just be able to say like hey like Amazon Echo turn on the lights and it's on but apparently there's also a way for you guys to kind of do commands and kind of mess with my lights and I think that'd be pretty cool. So that's something that I'm working toward and I really want to um, implement that into the stream. What else? I have like a list of things that I need to get. I, I, I This is my notebook. Hold on. Let me show you guys. This is my Twitch notebook. This is where all my Twitch ideas go into. So just how I try to stay organized like this is where I had oh my gosh I'll go through this page this is where I have like emote ideas where if I want to do an emote um, I'll draw a sketch of it and uh, this is what I will send to the artist actually while we're on the topic of emotes we actually do have new emotes for uh, non subscribers so if you guys haven't heard about uh, better twitch TV it's basically an extension that you can download to your Chrome browser and uh, it allows you to have extra emotes that that channel has uploaded and you don't need to be a subscriber or anything so I think that's really nice I wanted non subscribers to also have like cool emotes because I don't want you guys to feel left out and it's like I do understand that some people are going to be able to contribute and you know it by subbing and then some people are not so I wanted you guys to still know that you're appreciated and if you can't you know afford to subscribe you know then that's Perfectly fine, you guys deserve things. So, we actually have, I'll actually put up all of them here. All the ones that were approved and done. Uh, Liz is amazing. Liz is my emo artist and I always go to her for emotes. So, I highly recommend her. So, if you're looking for emotes or if you're just looking for commissions in general, I highly recommend her. She's great and I, I'm so thankful for her and her patience. I think she, she struggled a little bit with the All Might one, <laughs> but uh, I, I'm so, I'm so happy, I'm so happy with them, so I hope you guys like them too. So in terms of other ideas in this notebook, I have a whole bunch of ideas, and it's really just where I try to go to organize my, my thoughts and my ideas, like, I have a, I have a, like, I have a Dead by Daylight idea here that I'm probably never gonna do, it's like top 10 mistakes that uh, beginners make. And 
again, I think I would prefer to wait until I get the graphics card for that, simply because Dead by Daylight had a new update and the graphics are struggling with my current graphics card, so uh, that'll take some time. And I also don't know like how you guys feel about Dead by Daylight gameplay on the channel in general. I know it's not the same <laughs> as like everything else that's on the channel, but I, I'm trying my best to, to mix it up a bit and like also have my own fun. I have an idea here of how to start streaming, not necessarily how to grow or like how to be partner. There are hundreds of videos like that that are just like how to be partnered in two weeks and it's ridiculous and everyone's advice is going to be different. I've actually been watching a lot of those lately seeing as as I'm working, I'm homeless. So because I'm home less, I stream less and then I get really stressed out about my content, like my YouTube content and my Twitch content, I've been finding myself extra sensitive about it and because I can do it less, I want the little bit of time that I do do it to be like, I want it to be perfect all the time and I feel like by me not being home, my, my growth has stunted a little bit and you know that makes me a little anxious, like I, I don't know, this is what I've been doing all these months when I haven't been working so this, this these channels feel like my baby sometimes so I don't want them to fail and uh, so I've been watching these videos and it's like uh, there'll be people that tell you like oh you know do it for fun you know don't focus on that this that and the third you know take a mental health break when you want and such and it's funny because then there are videos that are like nope all that is wrong don't do any of that and it's just like, people will tell you, like, no, you have to stream even when you're sick. Like, no, you have to look at the numbers. You have to obsess over them because you have to know how to grow. Like, it's like, I, it's, it, there's so much contradicting information on the internet that I, I've become discouraged from doing the Twitch etiquette series and teaching you guys how I started. And I don't know. I don't know if that's something that you guys would be interested in because it's just, there is so many of those kinds of videos around and they're all they're all contradicting each other anyway so I don't know if that's something you guys want like, or care about but I would like to think my opinion matters to some degree and even though I'm not partnered and I'm not like super successful like I'm not the ninja of, of Twitch or the, the ninja of Animal Crossing or the ninja of Dead by Daylight or anything like that but um, I just I don't know. I feel like from my perspective, even even 600 followers, like right now I'm at 600 followers or something like that, maybe a little more on Twitch. Even then, like some people don't even get past that. Like some people get stuck at like 30 or they get past they they just reach affiliate and then they they just don't grow anymore. So I would want to kind of teach you guys how to like grow from that and not necessarily maybe not necessarily become partnered I'm not partnered I don't know how to become partnered and then a good chunk of the people that are partnered these days were part have been partnered for years when like twitch was different and YouTube was different like you ever like look at YouTube now like think about a YouTube video that you saw in like 2010 right go to YouTube now and YouTube videos are like full-on productions with like camera people like even vlogs have like two separate camera people to produce and then they take days to edit like before like YouTube videos used to be people just recording stuff in their room with with their really really bad camera <laughs> and but like that's what it was so it's just Twitch is kind of like the same thing where Twitch has become a little bit more complicated now because before like Twitch wasn't all that like obviously like it, it was in an, its infant stage so people that became partnered during this infant stage you know probably didn't have to work as hard as people do now where like my my camera angle could be slightly off and someone would be like oh nope don't like it like maybe like a logitech webcam that i'm using right now isn't like the standard anymore and now people need to get like full-on canon sony camera setups or something like that like it get it's gotten very complicated over the course of time so i don't want to be like yeah just get like get a webcam and like have fun and you know stay positive and then you guys have like seven followers and like one viewer and that that upsets you and then i i then 
I feel like I set you up for failure. You know what I mean? Like, I started streaming because, honestly, I needed, one, I wanted, like, a sense of community, and I also desperately needed something to do. I had just graduated, so I wasn't in school, and I had just lost my job, so I wasn't working. So I needed something to work towards, so I was motivated by that. And there are people that have, like, full-time jobs, or, like, they're in school, or maybe they just don't have that, the, the finances. I didn't have the finances. I spent all my savings on this setup, and just, <sighs> I've made mistakes. But I'm happy to be here, and I'm happy to, you know, be with this community that, we you know, we have created together, and everyone might not have that, you know? Like, People might fall into like the follow for follow hole or the sub the, the sub to sub hole. Oh my god, don't do that. I'm sure you don't you guys don't need a video of me telling you like the follow for follow thing doesn't work, the subscribe to subscribe thing doesn't work. Like it's just it's all really cringy. Just don't don't do it. It doesn't benefit you, I promise. In terms of upcoming games or games that I plan on playing and such, so we're still within the, the realm of like nostalgia. I'm working on uh, Sims busting out. I do have it. I have it, and the PlayStation 2 setup is finally done. As you guys know, we've been playing Ape Escape, so that's done. After Ape Escape, I'm debating if we're going to be playing Sly Cooper or Sims busting out, simply because we're already playing My Sims Kingdom. So, granted, I haven't recorded My Sims Kingdom in a while, and I do apologize, by the way, for the inconsistent uh, upload schedule on YouTube. That's just... I, and nowadays I'm barely home and I'm finding myself having a lot of closing shifts so there are times when I have to be at work at 3 and I get out at 10 and I get home like at 11 <laughs> so I'm just trying to figure out like do I record in that morning time do I edit in that morning time do I sleep in because I deserve it <laughs> like it's just it's weird you know like I, I I'm trying to figure out what amount of effort I should put into both while also take caring, taking care of myself. So I know you guys probably wouldn't want me to overwork myself and I probably wouldn't be proud of any of the content I uploaded if I was just tired all the time and it was obvious or I was just frustrated all the time, you know? So uh, even when I'm stream, I'm, I, I'm starting to feel that I don't know how to speak. I don't know what I'm saying. Like, I don't like, I'm saying um a lot and I, 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 I'm out of practice almost. So um, I'm working on that, and just be patient with me, I'd really appreciate it if you guys were patient, uh, as I figure that out over the course of time. As of today, I, I have a list here of games that I need to record, so it's here, um, oh, monthly vlog. There's also, like, kind of like a mental health video that I've been debating on. And I'm going back and forth on it because I don't know how to phrase it and I don't want people to very quickly jump in and be like, you're not even a mental health professional, like, what do you know? And it's like, it's it's true, but I've been noticing lately that a lot of people in the community have been kind of like in a funk and I just, I wanted to speak out about it and like help and that's all I want to do is help. I, I never want to, you know, come off as like insensitive or like I'm, I'm shaming you guys for, you know, being sad. Is that a thing? Do people shame people for being sad? Um, but I just want to help and I, I, that's probably a video that I'm very much going to need to script and because I, I want to be very careful with it and I just, I, I don't want to come up as, as insensitive like I said. So um, we'll, we'll see how that goes. If that ever happens, it's probably going to need a lot of editing and a lot of attention because I don't want to say anything wrong, so if you guys are interested in, you know, bettering your mental health, maybe, maybe that's a video you guys would like. I try to keep the channel to be, like, fun and positive, so I, I try not to, like, talk about the serious stuff, you know, like, politics and such, but I think, I think it's a conversation we need to have, especially now that the holidays over, are over, you know, people are kind of starting to feel that, like, burnout and you know, they're like a little bit under the weather and such so maybe that's something that I I can talk about like may I don't I don't know like I feel like I need to talk about it and get it off my chest and just give you guys a little bit of hope maybe 
during the last vlog i did say something about uh mobile games so yes we are gonna do mobile games we still are i apologize for the delay this whole time i was under the impression that i could download an app and i technically can but uh it's just it's not gonna come out right it ke i can't figure out how to download an app stream it to like stream labs and then like have my whole setup of like my microphone and stuff um so what I actually discovered, a friend of mine was telling me that I can actually get an adapter, which is uh, USB-C, uh, just like uh, the Google Pixel uses, USB-C to HDMI, and I can connect it to my computer and do it that way. So I was like, oh, dope. So that's what we're going to be doing. I'm just waiting for my next paycheck to get a few things, and I'm also probably holding off on things until my discount kicks in. If I haven't mentioned this before, I work at, I work at Best Buy. So... Uh, that's gonna be pretty handy in terms of replacing the graphics card and getting the hue lights and getting any kind of cables or adapters that I would need so that's nice <laughs> so give me it's like I think it's 30 days after you start so I think in like two more weeks I should be able to uh, dabble in some shopping uh, but that's gonna be after I pay off my credit cards because my credit cards also need attention so give me give me time to <laughs> get my stuff together <laughs> okay so in terms of games and videos uh continuing with that i do need to make a video of the things that i want to see in the new animal crossing and maybe i'll do that after uh, after the the official announcement because right now it's just 2019 so maybe after it's officially announced I can make that video but what I'll probably do is I'll start making a list because I have a list of things that I want to see the new Animal Crossing that will make the new Animal Crossing better um, at least in my opinion so uh, there's that that I'm working on um, let's see what else uh, Animal Crossing New Leaf is still very much gonna be a thing until I feel like we're done with Mapleton we're still not at a perfect town status so we gotta work on that and uh, we got to check on Max. We haven't checked on Max in a while. Uh, if you don't know who Max is, Max is our Nintendog, our community puppers. And we haven't checked on him in a while because actually I did record an episode of Nintendogs, but my my, my audio kept dipping and I don't know why. So it was constantly like, hey guys, and another vid. So Nintendogs uh, like it just kept like breaking and I don't know why and it's not like I was doing this and just like <laughs> Constantly pushing away from the mic. I would the mic is usually in my face when I'm recording like right now It's actually kind of far because I don't want it to be in the shot. It's still here obviously, but when I'm recording it's usually like really close up to my face, so I don't know. I don't know what I don't know what happened. My microphone just decided to. I get. I, th I guess it's on its way out. So I had to completely eliminate that video entirely, which was sad because we actually got second place in like the um, the frisbee tournament. So I'm really sad about that because that was documented and it, the audio was just awful. So we have to check on him. I do have a My Sims Ki My Sims Kingdom video planned as well. I know you guys really liked that in terms of nostalgia so I'll dive into that I don't know how honestly I feel like I might kind of fade out of it the only reason why I'm still doing it is because you guys are really enjoying it to be honest there's a part of me like I haven't had that same click of like wow I remember this game I'm so excited like I I was excited about it when I got it and when I started it and then but now it just I don't know how I feel about it. So if it if it suddenly disappears, you guys know why. I just I it might be in my best interest to kind of fall into something that I'm gonna be genuinely more interested in, just because it's gonna be better for content. Like if I'm not interested in something, you guys are gonna know, and it's gonna be very obvious and not fun to watch. I can't find anything else in my notebook to talk about. Uh, so I think that's gonna be it for. This vlog, yeah, I think so. This is my massive list of all the games that I own, just so I can have an idea of what are even my options sometimes. Sometimes I'm kind of just like, what do I play? What do I stream? What do I record? So sometimes I need to just look at this list and uh, just come up with something. 
But anyway, guys, thank you guys for hanging out with me and just listening to me talk. I know this is kind of just like, these videos have become more of like ramble videos, but it's just to show you where I am right now and where the channels are going in the future. So yeah, so hopefully by this month in February, we should have some cool lights, um, some new emotes, some better Twitch TV emotes. We have them already. They're just waiting to be approved and, and just... A new graphics card hopefully and I need that Elgato key light looks really cool too so I'm hoping to get that that's bookmarked on my Amazon wish list somewhere and um, I think that's it I, if I missed anything if you guys ever have questions for me feel free to comment them and I'll respond in the comments I always keep an eye on the comments I I don't get many so it's not hard for me to um, kind of filter through them and look and see what you guys are thinking and talking about so, thank you guys for hanging out with me as always, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye!